Taking off today on the trip many call once in a lifetime. Early this morning, nearly two dozen veterans here in southern Arizona boarded a plane for an honor flight. Nine on your sides, Megan Thompson was there for their saluted send off to our nation's capital. About 25 veterans boarded a flight here at Tucson International Airport this morning, going to see the memorials they never got a chance to see. And the nonprofit group who organized this whole thing say they hope it shows that these veterans have not been forgotten. The rest of us, we all had one thing in common that if we wanted to, you know, um, just be there for everybody. John Rio was there for our nation, serving the U.S. Air Force during the Korean War. Brings back a lot of memories to be with groups. Yeah, I really enjoy it. And it's Honor Flight Southern Arizona that puts these groups back together. Honor Flight is a um, is a trip that we take World War II and Korean vets to our nation's capital to see the memorials dedicated and uh, built in their honor for their service and sacrifice. Volunteer coordinator Dominic QE says this is the perfect way to put the finishing touches on their military careers. I think they've been forgotten and it's just absolutely amazing to see an 80, 90 year old World War II vet that's seen some of the most beautiful things in the world, some of the worst things in the world, just break down in tears because they haven't been forgotten. It's just absolutely moving. For Rio, as a Korean veteran, he felt exactly that. I think that uh, we were the forgotten law. And hopefully today at takeoff, that changed. I think now it's about time we got kind of recognized. The flight landed in D.C. just about an hour ago, and they're going to spend the rest of the weekend there before coming back here on Monday evening. At Tucson International Airport, Megan Thompson, KGAN 9, on your side.